everyone this is the guide to iron mountain in uh, north county san diego not the iron mountain in angeles national forest which is much harder this is iron mountain here by san diego it is tough it's not as tough as angeles national forest but it is tough it's not it's called uh iron mountain without a reason it's not cupcake mountain for example but it's a uh, it's a doable hike it's about five and a half miles round trip about 1200 feet of climbing all very doable very reasonable when you get to the top you get these beautiful panoramic views that's Cayamaca, second highest peak in San Diego. That's probably Mexico down there. Over there is downtown San Diego. There's this cool sundial up here. There's a picnic bench back there. And there's uh, Woodson Mountain, Potato Chip Rock. So, fun, fun hike. Now, if you want to do it, as always, I have a corresponding guide on hikingguide.com. There's a link to that right under the video if you are on YouTube. But otherwise, let me show you the turn-by-turn uh, turn directions to get here. Now there's a decent amount of parking here, but this is a very, very popular hike and the lot fills up, people park out on the highway. So come early, come at sunrise, it's your best bet. But here you can see the iconic start of the trail with that beautiful um, Iron Mountain. I guess it's wrought iron, whatever it is up there, that would be appropriate. But we're just going to go through that and start there. And that's Iron Mountain in the distance there, that big chunk of rock in front of you. Once you kind of come around here, here's sort of the official start of the trail. There's a big sign telling us that it is. And you have this beautiful shaded stretch right here. This is pretty much the only shaded stretch on the hike. So enjoy it. And again, come early when it's much nicer. If you do this in the middle of the day in the summer, it's pretty brutal. But you're just going to hike straight up here. And pretty soon the trees drop away. And you have this really long straight trail. And right away there's a trail off to the left. And then shortly after that, a trail off to the right here. We're just going to keep going straight. And you literally go straight on this. If you look at the map, this is like a straight line, uh, kind of like an approach before you start the climb, climb. And you can see it's pretty gradual. It is a climb, but it's pretty mellow. Now, the trail has all of these mile markers, which are pretty cool. This is actually a half a mile. I think they're every half mile. And there's Iron Mountain. So that's helpful. And there's a ton of people here. So you don't really have to learn, worry about getting lost too much. So you can always ask somebody for directions. Now at the end of that long straight uh, section, you're going to go down and through this little gully. Then you're going to start climbing a little more. You're going to climb up through there towards the mountain, a little more than you have in the very beginning of the hike. And you can see it's a little bit steep. Again, it's, it is Iron Mountain. The nice thing about this climb is that there are steep sections, but they're not super long. And usually right after a steep section is a nice flat section to uh, kind of catch your breath. There's no really, really long grinds up the hill aside from the very end. At the top of that little hill, there's another trail marker. We're going to make the left here. We're going to make the left. There are some little variations. You could do little loops around if you want to get away from the crowds. But if you're doing this for the first time, I would just take the main way up, which is uh, showing you, you know, I'm showing you in this guide here. Here's the one mile marker, one mile down, about two and a half or so to go. As we go up here, and you can see it's flat already as we come by here. And some of the sections on the climb are rocky. Uh, if you have trekking poles and you like using them, they are going to come in handy. And when you come back down, just make sure you're not flying too fast because it's easy to slip on these. Um, but you know, the steep sections are steep. It's sort of a typical San Diego area trail, kind of steep and rocky. And when you come to this big junction with the sign, you're going to make the right. And after this, there's actually a little bit of a downhill that you get to enjoy a little undulation before you start going up again. And most of the climbing's in the second half of the hike past that. Here's another mileage marker, one and a half miles. Here's a piece of trash that somebody left. Welcome to a popular trail. We're not going to do that trail off to the left. We're going to stay right here and go around. And you can see we're going a little bit downhill here. Get a little breather. But then it starts to go up again. Um, and again, it's, it's rocky and there is no shade whatsoever. So just prepare accordingly. I'll generally bring two liters of water if it's really hot or if it's not so hot, one. Then you have another little break, a little little uh, flat section here before we start the last part of the climb. As we go up, here's the uh, two mile marker, almost there at this point. There's also a sign saying stay on the trails. There are some cutoffs, so just stay on the uh, marked trail and avoid erosion. And when you come to the top here, you're going to see another split off to the right. 
we're going to take the left. That's another variation, another kind of loop around you can do. And you can see the mountain up there, the summit of Iron Mountain, and that's where we're going. Now you're going to kind of go a little towards the mountain here, and eventually you're going to come out. Um, I'm going to go up some more, more rocky sections. I just wanted to show you this part as an example. Some of it is pretty rocky, um, but it's not far. It's not a long rocky section. There's no long rocky part, so it's not so much of a knee buster. But after that, what I was going to say is you come out in this section here on the saddle, and you can see out to the west. You can see the um, northern part of San Diego. And from the summit, you can actually see the tall buildings in San Diego. But from here, we're going to go up a series of kind of tighter switchbacks and wind our way up to the top where the summit is. Now, just like the other part of the hike, the switchbacks um, are steep in sections, usually around the corner, but then they level out. Here's the two and a half mile marker. We're almost there at this point. Um, but you can see it's level and we get to the um, elbow of the switchback and it gets kind of steep. As you go back and forth, you're going to be able to see to the east, too. That's Kayamaka, the second highest peak, I think, in San Diego County. And you can see we're winding back. And once we go to around that corner here, it's level again. So that's nice. And here you can see it's level. Over there is Woodson Mountain, home of Potato Chip Rock. You're close to that. If you wanted to do both of them in one day, you could do that if you have the energy. I was going to keep winding up these switchbacks here. There's one little steep section up this rock, rocky part here. And eventually, you're going to pop out of the summit. And the summit kind of takes you by surprise because it does have some uh, higher brush around it. But here we are at the summit. There's the viewfinders, the picnic benches. It's, it's a really cool um, little area that they've set up here. And you can see you can use the viewfinder to figure out what you're looking at. And again, you have east views uh, east, north, and west. So that's it. Once you get up here, you just turn around and go back the way you came, and that is the hike. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, once again, please visit the full guide, which is on Hiking Guide. There's a link to that right under the video. And if you could do me a favor and click that little thumbs up button, that will help other people find this guide, hopefully do the hike safely, and have a fun time while they do it. Uh, but anyway, Iron Mountain, uh, give it a try, San Diego. I will get the guy to the other Iron Mountain up if it's not already uh, in Angeles National Forest at some point because not a lot of people ask me about that. But anyway, in the meantime, do this one. It's a fun one. All right, guys, I'll see you.